Hey guys, it's Ray Sunshine. Today I decided to do a quick little video. Uh, first off, I want to say that I had lost a little bit of faith in my singing for a while. Um, I quit singing for two weeks. Yesterday I decided to continue trying because uh, one of my good friends from my hometown, Cassie, had sent me a text when I decided to quit because I posted to stand on Facebook that I was quitting and said, Baby, you cannot stop singing. I didn't even know you did covers, and I'm crying listening to them. Your voice is beautiful. Don't give up. Music and singing is the perfect way to relieve all your stress. And to be completely honest, this text made me cry. I decided I'd uh, take a break of no singing and try to let my voice rest. And recorded a cover yesterday, which will be getting uploaded along with this video. Um... I've been having a pretty crap summer, uh, so I started running to take my mind off of all the bad things, and um, I've been spending a lot of time with my some of my really close friends to get my mind off of the bad things when I'm not running, <clears throat> or when I'm unable to run, you know. Um, I decided in this video to also explain what happened to my phone. So, I was running yesterday with my friend Courtney, and I... We went to do a cool down. We went to go sit in this creek. So my phone was in my bra, in my wife's bra. And um, I went to stand up, and when I was standing up, because I was sitting on stairs, I went to stand up like like this, and my phone fell out of my sports bra. And um, this one in the creek, so you guys can't really see it probably. Down at the bottom. There is some water damage. Let's see if you can tell from here. You really can't tell. A little spot right there. And then the whole side here is like a diagonal line out there. Let me see if I can get it again. Yeah, there. That dark spot. Oops, that dark spot right there. Water damage. Yeah, um... I wasn't very happy, so I literally jumped in after it and cried because Courtney wouldn't try and take the battery cover off because she was worried that her fake nail would break. And honestly, I could barely get it open with my teeth, so I can't really say much, but I sat there and I got my tooth, dug in there, and I pulled it open and I freaked out and I took the battery out. And literally went without socks on in my running shoes to my car just so that my phone could sit somewhere dry. So it sat in my sock, one of my socks, all taken apart and everything so it could dry. And I went into two U.S. cellular stores in this town. Uh, one on this side of town and one on the exact, not the exact opposite, the other side of town. They both told me essentially the same thing, that my phone was pretty much screwed. I was furious. And at home, you know, they pretty much told me that I, it wouldn't work ever again. So I went home, and I put it in a Tupperware container full of rice, and I left it there for an hour, and then I tried turning it on, and it did turn on, but the screen was highly water damaged. Like, the entire screen was covered. And mind you, it's a touch screen, so... That would have ruined my entire phone. So I left it in the rice for the rest of the night. I tried putting in my battery from this phone earlier, or I think it was about midnight ish. I came downstairs to get food. Um, but I tried putting the battery in, and the phone just would not turn on. So I figured, you know, it is screwed. My phone's not going to work ever again. And I went to bed, and I woke up, and I was like, wait. I still have my old phone battery, and my old phone battery fits in my newer phone. So I took the battery cover off of my old phone, took the battery out, and put it inside my new phone. And now it works. Although it does like to turn off randomly. Um, but on this note of stuffy stuff, you know, um... You know, I didn't think that I was obsessed with having my phone at my side at all times or that I just 
he was obsessed with texting until I could not text at all last night or today and for all of yesterday and then most of today like or most of today all of last night I freaked out I felt like I felt so disconnected from the world like I mean yeah I texted my iPod but I didn't have any of the phone numbers that I wanted so I couldn't text anybody and uh you know kind of freaked out and this morning I got at least 30 text messages from Facebook alone because my phone was off all day yesterday and I was on Facebook on my computer and on my iPod because I I needed something to do to distract me from the fact that my phone was screwed um but I figured the little story for YouTube wouldn't be too terribly bad I do have an announcement though um as soon as I get to 25 subs, I only have two more to go. I'm at 23 right now. Um, I'm going to be a to doing a 25 facts of me video. Um, and I'm hoping that it'll get up to 25 by the end of this month, hopefully before the 13th. I want to get it there by at least the 12th of July. Because 13th of July, I'm going to have to buy my old hometown. I'm going up to my old hometown, which sounds kind of weird to say old hometown, um, for the carnival. And I'm going to be recording a lot of videos while I'm there on my iPod. And we all know how much we love this iPod video quality. Um, you know, just like cutesy reunion videos because one of the people, uh, my friend Cody, the Fly Noodle 95, I'll put that probably here. Uh, he, you know, haven't seen him in nine, ten years, so I figured I would do a little, you know, if I get enough pictures, I'm going to be doing another one of the one that I know you were my best friend videos. Otherwise, I'm going to have to scrounge around for really old pictures. This kid was, like, my best friend back in kindergarten and first grade, and all the pictures that we have are, like, old Fourth of July pictures, and when we used to go swimming together and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, there will also, along with those videos, be random uh, car videos, I guess you could call them. Like the car covers that Jessica and I did. And then I'm going to be uploading a car cover of Courtney and I. It was What Makes You Beautiful by One Direction. Um, and then the ones that I did with Jessica, if you haven't seen them, Jessica Ray J. Burns, and I'll put that here also. Um, oh, we did a couple of Britney Spears songs in her car one day, because we got bored. Um, and if I can also find the video that my friend Courtney uploaded, we titled it, How to Be a Douchebag. And I talked like this the whole video. It was awful. <laughs> um... We're going to try and do a lot more videos like that. I'm going to try and do videos of us playing down in the creek where we're at uh, when we do our cool downs for running. And, um, you know, I'll cut this here. I'm going to try and cut out some of the stuff that's just like me randomly blathering on about nothing if this over 15 minutes. Um, but um, there may or may not be a video later on telling you why I started running all summer. But either way, subscribe, uh, watch my, I want to say just watch my other videos, put it this way. I don't know, because it's flipped. Um, leave comments below on anything, unless you're being an ignorant troll. And rate it. I don't care if you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I just need a rating. I want to know if people even like what I'm doing. So, thanks for watching, guys.